If you want, it's Emily Fox. Today's video is going to be the beginning of my fall reading vlog. Uh, fall, this is where I tend to read more uh, mystery thrillers kind of books. I have four that I want to attempt to read in the next I don't know how long. I have been very busy with a lot of stuff and I'm trying to finish a bunch of my reading challenges. So I haven't had time to read as much as I wanted to in terms of mystery thrillers, hence doing this vlog. So I have two physical books and two audiobooks that I'm hoping to read. The first one is by Megan Miranda. This is The Girl from Widow Hills. This is going to be my third book by her and I don't know how else to describe her books. So we're just gonna go for it, but I find it kind of chill. <laughs> I feel like sometimes I'm not in the mood for very stressful mystery thrillers, like the ones that you read like in two days because you need to know what's gonna happen. Uh, I, I don't need more stress in my life. I don't think anyone <laughs> needs more stress in their life right now. So I find her books really good for that. They're mysteries. I'm still excited to figure out what's gonna happen, but it's not something that I can't put down. And uh, I enjoy how she tends to play with timelines a lot. I don't know if it's going to be the case in this one, but the two of the books that I read by her, uh, there was a lot of back and forth between that. And I enjoy those. So yes, I'm just excited to read her newest book. So this is going to be the first one, the first physical book I will be reading. After that, I wanted to attempt With Malice by Aileen Cook. Um, this is a YA, I think mystery thriller. I don't know which one. We're just gonna... <laughs> I tend to just put them all together all the time. So uh, this is going to be the second one I'm hoping to read just because it's been on my shelf for literally ever. Uh, the thumbnail... Oof, I spent too much time on booktube. Uh, the cover, I find it really appealing, which actually... This other one too, I don't know if you're gonna be able to tell, but the, the little drops, the water drops are actually 3D, which... I find it so appealing. It's time for me to just attempt it. If I don't like it, I can just, you know, unhaul it, but I wanted to give it a shot. It should be a quick read and I'm in the mood to finish a couple books back to back just to be more motivated to read some more. So I don't know about you, but when I'm stressed, I tend to just not read, which is why I'm trying to get to some fun, exciting, quick reads right now to help out with the slump. I don't want it to come back. Okay, as far as audiobooks, I have two I want to also read. First one is The Year of the Witching. I have been wanting to read more books about witches, so I will give that one a shot because it is a newer book. Uh, actually, most of these books are, huh? There's only this one. It's because it's been on my shelf forever. And once I'm done with that one, I want to give a shot to One by One by Ruth Ware. I have read a couple of her books so far. They're all mysteries, and I tend to enjoy the setting and the characters usually. Uh, but her endings are kind of so-so, so I wanted to give a shot to her newest book just to decide do I want to continue reading her books or not. Actually, I think I have one or two other books by her on my shelf, but you get the idea. That was the cat, it's a squirrel. Um, so yes, these are the books that I'm hoping to read in the upcoming week or two, I'm assuming, probably two. Uh, so yeah, wish me luck. Let's do this. I just gave a peanut to Steve. I kind of missed the portion of him eating it, but oh, you know. Look at it. So handsome. He's huge. I feel like you can't tell how big he is, but he is big. Like almost the size of the cat. So we are overdue for an update. I, <laughs> quite frankly, completely forgot I was doing this. I've been Reading very slowly lately, but uh, here we are. I just finished my first book and I enjoyed it. It was, again, pretty... It's not even relaxing, but for some reason I find her books kind of relaxing because they're usually in small towns. Actually, all three were in small towns. Maybe that's why I'm getting that relaxing vibe from. You're following the story of this woman who, when she was a kid, she disappeared for three days um, and then when she is found, uh, she doesn't remember what happened, but that's how, you know, they made money, her family and everything, so people harassed her, so she ends up moving to this small town to work in an hospital, and um, her past basically catches up to her, and she tries to figure it out. Basically, someone dies uh, right in front of her house, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna keep it vague because, again, it is a mystery. Uh, I overall enjoyed it quite a bit. Um, I think it's not my favorite by her, like I said in my intro, this is my third book by her, uh, but it's at least a three stars. I'm not sure if it's going to be like 3.5 or four stars. It was a solid mystery again. Uh, I just find them 
comfortable. <laughs> as far as the audiobook I'm currently listening to, I started with The Year of the Witching, and to be honest, I did not realize that it was in a Puritan time, which I don't like those witching stories. Like, I love the idea of any witch's story, but these ones never work for me. I've watched movies, I've tried to read books, they just never do. So uh, I'm about like 40% into it. I think I'm going to try to at least get to 50 and I'll decide what I do with that. But I just got my hands on one by one, again, as an audiobook from my library. So I might start that one too. It's never a good sign, right, when you start a second book. Um, it is what it is. But uh, tomorrow I'm going to start reading, which... Ooh, I brought it with me in bed <laughs> with malice. Um, it took me like, it's been like five days, I think. Um, so it took me a little while to read this one, but I'm hoping I can finish this one. Uh, it's only 300 pages and it is why, so it's written big. It should be fairly easy to get into. If I remember correctly, I don't think I mentioned it in the intro. I just read the summary and it's a girl that wakes up from a uh, car accident and uh, she doesn't remember what happened basically her friend died in mi mysterious circumstances <laughs> so uh wish me luck i'll update you hopefully before the week is up <laughs> waking up to this is discouraging i know some people have never seen snow and it's pretty to them but oh my gosh we're just in october can can we not Okay, I have to admit that part I'm perfectly okay with. Little birds, I can totally wake up to that every single day. This is the main reason I wake up in the morning. That and my chai tea. That's what I use. It is the best. Mm -mm. So I just wanted to chat about something because it's a vlog, so I guess I can include life stuff too. Um, I'm actually about to go film a beauty video, hence the little Halloween makeup um, and obviously I sit down and the kitty shows up he just knows every time I swear um, but two weeks ago I got a UTI fun stuff and uh, the first round of antibiotics did not work and my dumb dumb ass decided to um, wait because I wasn't sure if it was still there you know it's fun um, but now it started affecting my kidneys, so fever and stuff. So I was able this morning to call and talk to a doctor the same day. And not only that, but it was free. And I just feel so grateful and lucky. Not only for that, but I just went and picked up the antibiotics. And for anyone that doesn't know, in Canada, it's not free, the medication, but it's not, you know, super expensive. But some people will still have through work uh, private insurance, which makes it more affordable. I don't have that. I have no private insurance and this is how much it costed me. Yeah. So yeah, I just really hope everyone is doing okay right now. This is just crazy that it's not like that for everyone. It should be. Well, well, well. Would you look at that? Look at that distinguished gentleman sitting on the chair. <laughs> and then there's Steve the Squirrel. <laughs> I think they're both begging for my attention, so you know, I'll oblige. today. Nope. That was it. That's all you wanted. When they come back. Good morning everyone. It's the next morning. 1st of November I woke up and honestly I feel like so today's gonna be a rest day because I woke up and I started my period too and like I feel like so yeah <laughs> so today in bed I'm gonna be editing I do have some work I can do and then I'm gonna be reading because I finished the first book and I was hoping to uh, read Malice too and it's a pretty short one. I can read this this weekend and then I can have the video ready for hopefully next week. So 
I'll keep you updated, but yeah, once in a while, I think we can all, uh, <laughs> I think this year we could all actually use a mental health day. So today's the day for me, and outside is looking very crappy. You can't really tell that well, but it's looking pretty dark. There's no snow, but it looks like it might snow. So like I said, perfect day to stay in bed and pretend the world doesn't exist. So yeah, I think I'm gonna try to stay off my phone as much as possible today too. That, that could be good, because I don't know about you, but I've been... On it way too much. Actually, I I saw uh, that you can now turn the colors black and white. I think I'm gonna try that to see if it makes me not want to spend too much time on my phone. I'll keep you updated. <laughs> Okay, big news. I was doing my reading of today of With Malice and I finally got proof of something that I have been thinking I was crazy for a while. There are two cats. Let me show you. There it is. This is the cat that isn't my cat. I'm eating, sorry, but this isn't my cat. Not that the cat is really my cat, but this isn't my cat. It just looks very similar to the other cat. I'm so confused. Proof that there are two cats. I I'm so excited. So on the right is my cat. And then hidden <laughs> behind the bush is the other cat that isn't my cat. I thought I was going cuckoo. But no, there are definitely two cats. See, that one's always staring at me, so it's him. The other one, I don't know who that is. Not my cat. So yeah, two cats. I took another video like weeks ago of cat number two um and i knew it wasn't the same cat but they look so similar i really wasn't sure i just figured out how the cat comes in my yard he goes over the fence he just climbs it um i'm so confused this is not the same cat so we now have two black cats in my yard so you know what that means I'm gonna have to convince that one too to like me. And I'm so glad I got kind of <laughs> proof today. Now they both left. Uh, but yeah, I have two cats. And I use have very loosely here, so I'm gonna go back to reading. That was a really pretty sunset. Um, I just finished. The last book that's going to be included in this vlog with malice <sighs> honestly I feel bad saying it I feel like all the books in this vlog have been kind of met <laughs> but uh, the ending was the best part of this book I feel like I didn't care that much about the whole like you know two best friends are they fighting or not over a boy or not but uh, yeah, the ending was definitely the strongest point. I was going to give this a two stars, but I think because of the ending, I'm going to just say 2.5. That is not super generous, but that's as generous as I feel right now. So yeah, it was a big book. It's a quick read. Um, it's why so I feel like the writing is big. There's a ton of space. The interviews were, you know, the format was interesting. But yeah, I think I've read a lot of meh books. Uh, maybe, maybe it reflects how I've been feeling. I feel like we've all been going through a lot of stress, especially in the last couple of weeks. I'm kind of okay with it though. I have no hard feelings <laughs> against any of these books. And I'm excited because I now have uh, The Burning God, the last book in the Poppy War series to read. And audiobook wise, I'm currently listening to, to Mallory, uh, which I'm excited about. I'm hoping that it's gonna be good because I'm always a little wary whenever there's like a sequel added out of nowhere to a book. I like standalones to be standalones, but yeah, <laughs> that's going to be it for today's vlog or this week, these last two weeks vlogs. I hope you enjoyed it. Thumbs up, subscribe. I will be putting more videos on the screen that I recommend you check out and I'll see you in my next one soon. Bye.